Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. <laughs> you're probably thinking what on earth is this? Is this Microsoft Flight Simulator or is this a driving game? Well it is Microsoft Flight Sim. This is a new Juice Goose by Parallel42. Something I pretty much passed over and dismissed when I heard about it. And then I saw Steve Chonzi show it off in the Discord. I thought, well look, you know, I might just buy it and I'll probably just slate it. I mean, this is not something that you would do in Microsoft Flight Sim. Wouldn't you know it? This is a fantastically fun package to try. I'm having more fun with this. Or as much fun with this as I do with many payware aircraft. In this video I'm going to show off the features of this Juice Goose. Show off the features of this package. This is just a great laugh. And then towards the end of the videos I'll be giving you my recommendations and final thoughts. Just keep in mind, I'll say it right now, this is for PC Microsoft Flight Sim only at the moment. The Xbox release is pending. This will undoubtedly come to Xbox and sell like hotcakes. Well listen, let's not dilly dally. Whoa! Let's get on with this video. Okay, well let's show you where to get this. This is only available for the moment for PC. I'm going to link the website parallel42.com down below. You'll see Juice Goose at the front of it. Just go to view product. And you can see there, well I've actually got my account active. It will actually say something like, well there you go, it does say it's £16. £16 is quite a low cost. This is why I went for it. I really wasn't sure about this one until I tried it. But £16, I thought, well, it's not a lot of money. If you scroll down a page, pending on PC Marketplace, pending on Xbox, I think this one will come soon. It's difficult to say. It's possibly another video I'll be doing in the future. But the ages of people who use, perhaps, PC Microsoft Flight Sim, the average age might be 40 plus for Xbox. I believe that would be a lot lower for Flight Simulator on the Xbox. <laughs> Forget age. I mean, look, I'm well over that age, but and Steve is as well. But we're enjoying the heck out of this Juice Goose. It's fantastic. So there you go. It's pending for Xbox. I do believe it will come to the marketplace soon, this one. This will sell like hot cakes. So you have to create a, an account, register with them, pay, download. And when you do, if you go back up, well, if you go to the help section here, in fact, and to the wiki parts, I can do it from here. Go to Juice Goose. Once you start downloading it, it will just show this page. How to, how do I install it? It's pretty similar to many other mods. You basically, it's a zipped file, unzip it. The main folder, so not the top folder, put the main folder. If you click in the main folder, you'll see all the sort of sim objects. Put that in your community folder. Just read through this basically and it will guide you right. Then it will tell you how to actually do it. I've, I've got it in windowed mode PC at the moment, uh, flight sim at the moment, just to show you this. If we go to world map, I'll talk you through this. Go to your aircraft selection, and I believe the Juice Goose, I mean you can search for it, but it's here basically. You get three different variants, the Crawler, the Touring, and the Speedster. If you click in the Crawler, for example, in each one you get 12 different liveries. I think that's amazing for the price of this package. So let's try the Touring 12. I like, actually, I prefer the Speedster, the Speedster version. And then you can choose your livery, whichever livery you want. Come out. Then it tells you on that page again, just to show you. You know, you, you could type in, where is it? Uh, GB, uh, 42 GB. You can start on that one. One that myself and Steve, if you click on select departure and click in the search box, I believe it's ATV06 we started at. Click on there and then you can go fly. So I'll do this and join you in the sim. 
Okay, so once loaded in the sim, you'll find the modeling of the Juice Goose. I think this is the speeder version. Oh, looks very nice, doesn't it? All the parts of suspension moving, especially when you move. I've been showing you this before, but it all kind of look the wobbly bits. The whips on top, I believe. Wobbly bits. Am I showing as a woman? Oh, uh, never mind. Anyway, there we go. You can see the modeling on the outside is actually very nice indeed. Now, that's interesting. There is a bit of a bug with this. Now, you um, you can see if you park on a hill, you'll start moving sideways up the hill there. It's a bug. If you stick your handbrake on, that stops. Really needs a thing for me to do. It's just to get off the hill for now. Just while I show more. So there we go. As you can see, the modelling is quite nice. And if we go internal, and I'm, I'm using the Velocity 1 flight stick to control it. Apparently Steve's using his uh, uh, honeycomb yolks. Uh, yeah, I guess a yolks. It's not a bad idea. I've got my yoke attached. I could use that as a driving steering wheel. <laughs> it makes more sense. But if we go inside, and if I just show you the lights here, you've got like the glow kit. So if I go outside, you can see the glow kit underneath the car there. So it's blue at the moment. So if I click on the glow kit, click it off, to click it back on, you'll get a chiller co colour choice. So I can change that to kind of, is that an orange? Oh, looks nice, isn't it? Your whips you could turn off or on. And you can change the colour of your whips. Blue at the moment. That looks a bit weird. Let's put them to red. Uh, I kind of like it like that. And you get things like a light bar, you could click that. Now, where's the light bar? What does that do exactly? Trying to see exactly what that do, but then you can change the colour. Well, you can have your light bar on or off. Fog lamps. As you can see there. You can have them off or on. Headlights, of course. Might as well stick them on. You can see they're an interesting colour as well. So there you go. A couple of options you can do there. When you first load into it, you're probably thinking, how on earth do I move? Um, I'll, if you've got your basic controls, so you accelerate you throttle as accelerate and you move that up and down probably find it won't work let me just show you a trick for that if you go to control options and now i've actually set up i've got quite a few different things attached here i'm going to turn my toby on later because it's good with the toby i just don't want my head to move around when i'm looking at my keyboard for now but i've got a goose profile set up in my on my velocity one flight stick under uh, let me just see Flight control service is primary flight control service. It's your rudder that controls your forward and backwards movement. If you're using the Velocity 1 flight stick, just be aware, and you've got your twist axis on the sticker's rudder, delete that. I've deleted it. And now I've got my rudder axis as my rudder pedals and my throttle control on my Velocity 1. I'm in the Velocity 1 flight stick, so you won't see the rudder controls. So you can use either. Let's just demonstrate that. Let's get outside again. And I'll just put my view to behind. There, that's better. I'll just zoom out a bit. I'll use my actual physical Velocity 1 rudder pedals to accelerate forward. Doing it this way, I think these are the default controls. Just remember, if you're using a flight stick or something that has rudder control on a twist axis, delete that or you're going to get a funny interaction. But using the actual rudder pedals, you do get quite a, I'm going to use that word again, quite a visceral feeling from controlling your car. Feels like you're actually putting your foot down on the accelerator. The left rudder is actually set as reverse in this. So if you hold that down, oops, hold that down, you're going to get reverse. And then hold your right rudder down. And you're going to go forward. It does feel quite visceral. I've set up two controls. I've also set my throttle control on my Velocity 1. I'll show you that ag again, just in case you don't have rudder pedals. As rudder control. So if I move it forward, I'm going forward. And if I move it towards the lower end of the range. There you go, it will reverse. There's a bit of interaction, there's probably a bit more setting up. I've not done it yet, so I've only had this for a few hours, been enjoying it massively. But there's probably a bit more set up there just to make sure that backwards and forwards behave properly when you've got a rudder axis set up. 
So that's how you get it moving forward. Brakes will just break you, and you can stick your parking brake on. Let me just show you that again. So control options, if you're using your throttle as control, in flight control services, delete the rudder axis that you've got set up on your twist, if you have one. And under primary flight control, just put your rudder axis as your throttle. So I'm using my left axis here as my rudder axis now. And I've deleted, I think, I don't know if I had to. Yeah, I've deleted the throttle management for that left axis. So that all works fine. And so continuing with some of the features you do get with this, you do get quite a lot with this. You know, you can see the seats have that kind of... Uh, Neon livery as well. See the speakers in the back there. Let's turn on the Bluetooth speaker. Hopefully you can hear this the Bluetooth device is There you go, so you can dance along to a little bit of music there. This is supplied by Parallel 42. Yeah, apparently you can put your own music in there now What's going on? There you go. It's, it's carrying on. That's just fantastic, isn't it? You've got all kinds of settings here. So if you go to the options, you can have things like uh, your doors on and off, if you wanted to. Keep my doors on. Roof on and off. Prefer the roof off for some reason. Windshield. Well, actually, I need to look up now, don't I? Because so you can have your windshield on or off there. Kind of prefer that in. And roof light bar. Let's see what that looks like. Oops, let's see what that looks like. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> That's the business, isn't it? A little bit bright. So you can see there's a lot of options to play with. Go to settings here. There's like visuals, controls, realism, maps. Yeah, there's quite a lot for you to explore. I'm going to leave you to explore some of these for yourself. What I'll do, I'll just reset my view. Get down to this view. This one's quite interesting. So let's zoom in there. Oops. Using my Velocity 1 flight stick, so bear with me. I'm going to go back there. I'm just going to click on the map area, left click, and go explore. Now, here's where we're at at the moment. These are places within the sim. But they're apparently places that are good to drive around. There you go, sand dunes. That looks good fun, doesn't it? Uh, bon Bonville salt flaps. <laughs> salt flaps. <laughs> the Dalka Desert there. A great river cut off road. All different places. A lot of places in the US I've noticed, but I believe they are a US company. So that's to be expected. The Goose Bowl. Inlet jump. <laughs> I mean, look. Just great fun. Drag strip. Out of a few of your plane. Staging area. Bus jump. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go try this bus jump. Bear with me now. What it will do, it will say teleporting. While that's teleporting, you'll see the sort of car do funny things while it's teleporting. Just bear with it. That's a telling part. I'm just going to turn that blue two speaker off. Wait for this to fully load in. Teleporting, let's go. Now, I've let Steve know that I'm here, so I'm hoping... Let's get back up to my normal view. Get outside. Now, there is another button. While he's coming, there's another button you really should set up. I asked to ask Steve about this, because I've only had this for a couple of hours, but very much enjoying it. If you go in on your flight controls, increase in the search bar here, increase, incre oh, increase throttle. Have that right. Increase throttle. Set up a free, uh, a button. Not for small, just increase throttle. I originally set it up for this, it didn't work. This will give you a boost in the car. So whilst we're just waiting here, might be actually spawned on top of each other. If we go and try and... Uh, now, let me just show you. I was hoping the car would tip upside down there. It didn't do. I wanted to show you that it does right itself after a few seconds. If you're heading towards a jump and you need a boost, hold that boost button. It'll boost you. Can we make it? Oh, we can. Oh, okay. I need to go back to that. Has it tipped on its ceiling? It hasn't. I hoped it would. Let's give that another try. This time we'll try and come on a bit straighter. 
It's just good fun chops. Again, if you're looking at this saying, oh no, I'm in this for the flight, so I'm not in it for these stupid little things, then obviously it's not going to be for you. That's what I thought to begin with until I tried it. It's just the mechanics, the suspension, the fun you have with this. Let's try that again. Boost. Oh, there's Steve. Perfect timing. I. <laughs> Oh, I think he's tipped upside <laughs> down. There you go. Now I'm tipped upside down. It will right itself after a few seconds, so don't worry about that. What, did, what happened to Steve? Oh, it <laughs> that was funny. Okay, I'm going to try that again. So we'll try from the other side. Just one more girl, just to show you the fun. The point, the good fun that you can have with this. Get a couple of you when it. It's, it's only for PC. Have I not mentioned that? I hope I've mentioned it in the description at least. It's for PC only at the moment. But yeah, I have mentioned it, haven't I? Xbox, when it comes to Xbox, get a few of you coming together. Oh, get a few of you with it. I made it! Kind of. <laughs> I landed badly. Does seem a bit extreme. As Steve was saying this as well, you need to tone down. You know, especially if you're doing things like this. Let's see if he makes it. Oh, <laughs> Steve, mate, I've caught that for you in the video. Uh, get a few of you together. Let me finish what I was saying there. And drive together. And you can have a lot of fun. I can, I can, I'm going to be playing this tonight with Steve, I think. Just spending hours on this. I spent hours on this already. Just having a laugh of it. Oh, nope. I'll come back to that one on that inlet. Now, Steve's going to have another go. Let's try and catch him. Let's stop. It's not going to do the funny. There we go. Is he going to make it? Oh, he did. <laughs> I don't think he made it. Oh, funny, 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 funny. Oh, let's try and get to the other side. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going over the bumps at the moment. Yeah, it's, it can roll around a bit, but that's part of the joy of these things. You know, you roll them around. If you land on your roof, you t tend to land back on your wheels or it'll right itself back on the wheels. There we go. I'm going to give this one more go, then I'll get to my conclusion and recommendation. Boost. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I Aside from me not landing on my wheels, that was the best I've done so far. <laughs> okay, let me take you to my conclusion. So, conclusion and recommendation. Now, I do actually have my Toby turned on for this, and that's a great experience. Especially, I find it's easier to see what's going on externally. You can go internal. Uh, let me just reset my Toby view. Sorry, I had to look down at my keyboard there. There you go. So, you can go internal. I just find it's a lot easier to see what's going on with your vehicle outside, as you can see. And with Tolby on, you can just move your head around to see what's going on left and right. It's fantastic. Recommendations. Do I recommend this? Well, I hoped by now that, yeah, you can probably tell that I do indeed recommend this one. I didn't think I would enjoy it. I thought this would be a product I would buy. And I'll be slating it. When Steve showed me on Discord, I thought, no. No, come on. It's flight sim, cars, doesn't go together. It does such a lot to this little package that you get. Not only with all the car selections and liveries and that type of thing, but you know, this little thing here where you can go explore and change your different options. And I've just said to Steve there, just while we were recording, he's in Discord chat, I just said to him, look, he's got to go out in a bit. When he gets back, we're doing this tonight. We're going to play with this. What I would love is for this to come on Xbox, for a number of us to get it, we can fly around somewhere, land an aircraft, jump into our buggies, go and fly, <laughs> drive around a bit, and then come back again. Or have some people parked up in the aircraft while we drive around them, do some kind of multiplayer madness. It's just made for that. For £16, listen, you cannot go wrong with this. If it was any more expensive, £25 to £30. Now, Steve said he's just found another ramp. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, as you can see. Oh, is someone else in there as well? Uh, there is indeed. Who's... What on earth was that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm glad I captured this. Uh, if it was any more... Uh, what's happened there? 25 to 30 pound even if it was 25 pound i'd be recommended it chap 16 pound if it's the same for xbox steel 
There's no doubt it's a big recommendation from me. I didn't think I'd enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun. Something different. The physics, I've not mentioned them, but the car physics are fantastic. If you're using your... Oh, let me think of them. Your rudder pedals as accelerates, and goodness knows what. It just feels very uh, authentic as well. Nice car physics. They could be toned down. What is, is that? Is it an AI? <laughs> Listen, uh, is he going to go over that ramp? He's not, is he? He's not, he's driving by it. I think that's an AI. I've just never seen that. That's, what? That was weird. Is that something Parallel 42 have added? I'm thinking it might be. Oh, I didn't get it there. No way. Big recommendation from me. If you're on PC, go out and buy this. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Many more Flight Simulator videos on their way. And I'll be seeing you soon.